Hello everyone, this is Suravi Nigam. I'm a student in Full Stack Academy Remote Batch and today we are given a chance to speak on a technical topic. I chose Web Workers, so for next 10 minutes I'm going to talk on Web Workers. Uh, I'll share my screen with you all now. Okay. Okay, so first, uh, this overview, like uh, I'll tell what are web workers and why we need web workers. Then there'll be a small demo of web workers in action. Then behind the scenes, like how actually web workers work. And uh, then web workers in JavaScript frameworks today, where they are, then finally the references. So this pop-up window, I'm sure everybody present in this room must have seen this pop-up on their screen more than once. So when this happens, like when your uh, web page becomes unresponsive, uh, because as we, uh, as it is said, like JavaScript is single threaded, so it has to take care of uh, rendering UI plus executing all JavaScript. And if JavaScript is, uh, if there is heavy lifting, uh, heavy lifting happening in JavaScript, then UI it compromises and it becomes responsive. Your browser gets tired and gives you this pop-up. So if we do some calculations, <clears throat> it is said for a web page to run smoothly, there should be 60 frames per second. And if we do simple math, we get that for every frame, we get only 16 milliseconds, which is not a lot of time. And in those 16 milliseconds, your single thread has to take care of UI, like painting and rendering of UI, and also executing JavaScript. So if your JavaScript has several for loops or it is complicated logic, then your thread is busy executing that and your UI gets compromised. But your JavaScript also gives you a solution for that. And the solution is web workers. Where your main thread, it's gonna create a, a worker thread. So it's gonna give all the JavaScript execution tasks to your worker thread and it takes care of only the UI. So this diagram, it shows, like first arrow, it shows that uh, a worker thread is created using worker uh, constructor. And the next arrow is they show how uh, main thread and worker thread, they communicate using messages. And in the end, um, worker thread can be terminated from our main thread or from the worker thread. <clears throat> so what are web workers? So like, as I've been talking, web worker, it gives you a way of running a JavaScript in the background without impacting or without interfering with your UI. So it can do pretty much everything uh, that a JavaScript can do. Um, but it like it can uh, make Ajax calls, fetch data from the backend. It can do storage, but there's also something that it cannot. It, it doesn't have access to top tree. It doesn't have access to window object. All right, so let's see uh, how how web workers actually help in making your web page more responsive. So there's a small code that I've written. And okay, so this, uh, so these flowers, they are GIF images. And uh, this is a link, which actually doesn't take you anywhere, but just to show like how you can interact with the web page. And in this, input box you enter a number so this number goes to your javascript and your javascript makes it uh, uh, it squares the number and then runs a for loop for that many times and then creates a result and sends it back to the web page so let me see in the code right now okay so i have my regular code commenters let me comment the worker code and let me uncomment the regular vanilla <coughs> javascript so this code it doesn't use uh, web worker it's simple javascript function which takes a number squares it runs a for loop and then sends a result so okay let's enter a number let's start with a small number for example 12. you see a square of that number and one more pretty image but now let's take a bigger number like one two three let me refresh the page so that you don't see that image. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go. So now your flowers are not blooming anymore. You cannot click the link. Your uh, UI is 
unresponsive and on top of that you get the spinning wheel to make you even more frustrated because javascript execution is going on and the single thread is uh, handling everything like ui and also javascript execution so now uh, your ui is back to normal because execution is over let's see how now let's see how web workers are going to make uh, uh going to give you a better user experience let me comment out the regular javascript code now this is web worker code here like this is the main thread which is spawning a uh, worker thread and this is the actual thread all right so now we have web worker and let's start with a small number same okay so not much difference but if we take a bigger number let's give it the same number as we gave to our vanilla javascript so now flowers are still blooming you can still click on the link but javascript execution is um, happening in the background so it webworker doesn't say that it's going to make javascript execution any faster but it will take care of that and it will leave your ui thread or the main thread to take care of your ui so your ui doesn't get unresponsive you can still uh, play with it like you can still interact with your ui and okay so you yeah, are still executing all right so that was a simple demo to show like how your ui can still be responsive uh, and your execution javascript execution is happening in the background all right so that was uh, the demo and now we'll see what was actually going on behind the scene so this is our main thread creating our worker thread using worker constructor and in the argument you give the path to your uh, javascript code a file now once the uh, worker thread is created our main thread wants to send some messages to the worker thread so it uses a uh, worker dot post message method so like in my code when i click the button it then took the uh, took the value that user entered and now it wants to send that number to the uh, worker thread so it sends that through post message method now our worker thread is listening for any message from the uh, from the main thread and as soon as it receives its on message event handler files and it uh, it gets data that was sent from the main thread using event dot data it takes that number squares it uh, runs the for loop and then creates the result and now it uh, wants to send that result back to the main thread so our uh, worker thread also uses post message to communicate with the main thread and here our main thread is again listening for any messages from the worker thread so it uses worker dot on uh, message event handler and at the end uh, as i said uh, worker thread can be terminated from the main thread using worker dot terminate or from the worker thread itself using self dot close so uh, web workers they can be of two types dedicated or shared so as the name suggests dedicated it is uh, used by only one single main thread and such threads are uh, spawned using regular worker uh, constructor and uh, we have shared worker threads so such threads can be such worker threads can be shared between more javascripts like it can have more than one main thread and uh, such threads are uh, spawned using shared worker constructor and they communicate using port uh, so it was all about like how web workers work how they uh, make your uh, ui look more responsive and uh, now we'll see how, where are web workers today so actually web worker is not a new concept web workers are there since uh, 2009 2010 but they haven't been used much no one knows why but today uh, but now uh, all javascript frameworks they are looking to include web worker code in their core code for instance angular 2.0 it already has web worker in its core rendering code and i was also interested in knowing like how web worker would impact the react application so while researching i found 
uh, an interesting YouTube video where an engineer in Microsoft React team, he has been doing a lot of experiments uh, using web workers in React. So React is faster in itself. Like it makes JavaScript execution faster. It, it doesn't do anything with the UI. So if you use web workers with React, it, it's give you even better user experience. Now, Redux has uh, has a library called Redux Worker that uses web workers. What it actually does, it takes all its reducer code and puts in a worker thread. Uh, so that's how it works. So these are the references. First references, uh, first two references are the uh, which gave me I got technical knowledge from these blogs and uh, the I got to know like how web workers work and could create that demo for you guys. And uh, number three, it, uh, it it's a link to the YouTube video where uh, where uh, Parshuram, engineer in Microsoft, he tells about his experiments with React and web workers. I found it very interesting. And for this, the um, link to YouTube video to their conference where they, they were talking about Redux uh, worker library. Thank you. Thank you all. Um,